Ooh, that is a little bit too close. Yeah, yeah. Hello everyone and welcome to this week's video. As you may have noticed, this video is not posted on a Tuesday, which is because I was super super sick this weekend in bed with a fever and throwing up and it was just not a pretty sight so I couldn't film or edit a video which really sucked but you know health comes first I guess but I'm here I'm back and videos will be posted every Tuesday just as normal from now on so so sorry about that so this week I wanted to do a little vintage secondhand haul type video where I want to show you guys my absolute favorite items that I've found while thrift shopping or vintage shopping all around the world. I also want to take this moment just to talk a little bit about why vintage and secondhand is so important and it's not only because you can find super cool unique pieces, also super cool that vintage and secondhand exist because textile waste is a huge huge problem with people just buying these cheap stuff uh, wearing it once or twice and tossing it away and never using it again. So I'm super passionate about sustainable fashion and shopping vintage and secondhand is a really good way not only to find a super bomb outfit but also do something for the environment. So before I get into the video, I also want to say a huge thank you to you guys for getting me to past 100 subscribers. I think right now we're like at 120 which is super cool because I've just started my channel and it's really just a fun thing that I'm doing because I'm really, really liking it. So it's really awesome seeing that you guys are enjoying it and that you're willing to subscribe to my channel. Thank you. <coughs> if you're new to my channel also, please join us and subscribe below. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and Share with all your friends, and without further ado, let's just get into the video. So the first thing I'll show you guys is this burgundy, reddish, uh, letterman jacket type uh, bomber. This one I actually bought in Japan this summer, so... So next up is another jacket. This one, also from Japan, this is uh, one of these traditional, I think they're called Sukajan, something like that, jackets. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, I'll put it here in this corner uh, if I said it wrong. But it has the super cool print on the back of a tiger fighting a dragon, and it says Japan on it. Uh, what I love about this one is that the color is super unique, and it's something that pretty much goes with everything and it's really easy to style plus it's super super comfortable and I absolutely love it. In the front there's also two dragons and this one's actually super beat up. It has kind of like holes in the sleeves. It's just it's just beat up. It's old but that's what I that's what I really love about it. It has a lot of character and that's what I love also about stuff you can find in vintage shops. They could have been passed down for generations or multiple people could have worn them which is super cool and kind of gross if you think about it but whatever while we're talking about jackets i also have this one right here um, this is kind of a oversized bomber jacket that i bought in brick lane in london uh, it has this super cool gold beige pattern, the contrast with the black, which I really, really love. It's kind of... I originally bought this because it reminded me of the Hermes uh, bomber jackets from like the 70s. Like the really, really expensive vintage ones. So originally that's what drew me to it. And I really love it just because it is oversized and it is super unique and it really stands out. Next up are some t-shirts that I've found. Uh, first is this Marc Jacobs um, Protect This Skin You're In collaboration. Uh, the names of all the people that participated in this project on the back. 
This one I actually found in Hong Kong, um, which is cool because you never really find a lot of vintage here. Uh, so that was awesome. This is actually one of my favorite t-shirts at the moment. I absolutely love it and I think that um, the concept behind it is absolutely amazing. It was a collaboration between Marc Jacobs and NYU Cancer Institute and some of the proceeds were then donated to cancer research at the university which I think is super awesome uh, and yeah, all in all it's just a super cool concept and I love it. So you guys might recognize this from one of my favorite videos, but this is a Iron Maiden t-shirt that I bought when I was in New York uh, in October. It's from a store called Metropolis, and they have super amazing vintage um, band t-shirts, but this is one of my absolute favorites. So next up is probably one of my absolute favorite finds. This is actually something I was looking for when I was in Japan. I believe I found this when I was in Osaka or Tokyo. I can't remember exactly. This was last summer and I'd really, really been looking for a vintage Tommy Hilfiger t-shirt because Tommy Hilfiger was just making its return. Everyone was wearing it and I was like, you know, I really want to find a perfect vintage one. I'd been looking everywhere. I swear to god, I literally dragged my friend Shirley all through all these vintage stores like multiple times just searching for Tommy Hilfiger and I, we kept finding some that I didn't like as much and I didn't end up buying them which I'm so happy for because then I came across this bad boy you know, yeah, it looks like, looks like this it's just a regular, it's just the regular Tommy Hilfiger print and it's been washed, you can kind of see um, the print is starting to fade just a little and yeah, it's just super, super cool. You might recognize this item as well. I wore this in my last video, I believe. Uh, this is also from Japan, I believe, Tokyo. This one's super cool because when I saw this in the store, I was like, oh my god, I have to get this. Stockholm 1956 and it's like the Olympic Games and on the back it says Helsinki 1952 and it has like the print on the arms so this one is really really old Next I have a pair of shoes these ones were actually just a lucky find so these are Balenciaga sandals Obviously, there it's up there. Uh, they're just super simple, just leather. It has a traditional, or like the, it has the traditional, just Balenciaga black sole, uh, and just gray leather straps. And then you can see the tag. They're super cool and super simple, and that's why I love them because usually I don't really wear sandals, but these ones I can wear with anything, and they're just really, really easy to wear. So last but not least, I have my favorite denim jacket. This one I bought in LA when I was there like I think four years ago. What I love the most about it is that it has this fraying going on in the neck. Like you can really tell that this is old and has been worn a lot. Um, so it gives, it gives it a lot of character and everything. I love this! I really love this jacket and I'm so glad that I bought this. This one and the Tommy Hilfiger t-shirt are the two best finds I've ever made, I believe. Uh, because this stuff is hard to find. It's difficult to find a really nice denim jacket, even though there's so many out there. It's always hard for me to find the perfect one, so I did find it. And that is it for this week's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please let me know in the comments below what your favorite item was and why. Also, again, don't forget to subscribe. New videos every Tuesday. Thanks for watching. Subscribe. <laughs>